But I need to wipe out all the fears of you and I I need to jump right off where I constantly insecure in your relationship do you feel uncomfortable a lot of the time and you feel like you're not you're not adequate enough or there's problems within your relationship that cause you to feel it's like you have self-esteem issues your confidence level is depleting you have to start analyzing what's happening here because what you may have done is pick somebody to be in your life that's got things that are outside of your comfort zone they have different elements in their life that they're comfortable with that you're not comfortable with. For example, maybe they're really extroverted, you're really introverted, you go to a party with them and you come home feeling insecure because you didn't put anything into conversations. You allowed your partner to do all the talking, you sat back and you went home feeling somewhat depleted. You didn't feel like you stood out, you didn't feel that people really noticed you or acknowledged you. So the trick here is, Opposites attract and they don't always stay together, but you can learn something from your partner here It doesn't mean you have to be exactly alike because that would be boring So if your partner is an extroverted person and you are not take a couple of their things You know that you find intriguing or you find exciting about them and try and implement them a bit within your own personality because it's great to, to make conversation when you're out and be a part of you know the group not just let your partner have the whole show or the control of everything because I'm sure they don't really want it either. Sometimes we think they do, but not necessarily. There also could be a situation where you're feeling insecure because they're squashing you somehow. They're making you feel like you're not enough. So if you're getting a lot of sarcasm thrown at you through your partner, using humor at your expense, or they're constantly putting you down because you're not good enough for certain things, you're not sporty enough, you're not gregarious enough, whatever it is, this is the reason you're feeling insecure. Because you're not with the right person. So there's some good things and some bad things that can play a part in feeling insecure in a relationship. It can wake you up and make you more of a stronger person or it can actually put you into a lower place where you feel like less about yourself. So this isn't healthy. So what you have to do, if your partner is squashing you in any way or talking down or doing anything like that to you, you need to address it. You can't let this go on forever because it's going to make you feel crappy about yourself and you're going to start not wanting to come home. So anytime you feel uh, uh, jealousies and envious stuff or insecure within your partnership, you need to get to the root of the problem. Why is this happening? Because it's not healthy for you to be there where you're always feeling low, lower and lower every time you're around them. So get to the bottom of it. Don't ignore it because you need to be with somebody that you feel good with, somebody that makes you feel good about yourself but you also make them feel good. It's a real reciprocated, wonderful relationship. So there you go. That's just something I wanted to put out there because there's so many, I've talked to men and women who have felt insecure in their relationships. And you've got to find a happy medium here because you shouldn't ever feel uncomfortable with your partner. Anyway, thanks everyone. Once again, please subscribe to Dear Cyber Sue on YouTube and visit cybersue.com if you want to check out my advice column and all my blog posts. Thanks everyone. Thanks.